Associate Professor Wei Duan is a medical researcher with Deakin University's New School of Medicine. Working with scientists in India and Australia, Professor Duan is developing a new medical smart bomb that is designed to seek out and eradicate cancer cells. Okay, in this project, we aim to develop a new smart bomb to target cancer cells. So we're trying to specifically target cancer cells and to kill them from within very effectively, but also spare the normal cells to minimize the side effect of cancer treatment. As cancer is, is known that it's, especially in the, in when it's spread, it's very difficult to treat. The main reason is because with cancer is, is not homogeneous. Within cancer cell, within a mass of cancer, a tumor, if you like, it has a small portion of cancer cell. This is called cancer stem cell. So these, if you like, they are roots of the cancer. The traditional cancer therapy will kill most of the other cancer cells, but will relatively untouched of this cancer stem cell. So this cancer stem cell, they resist the normal cancer treatment, and they very easily to, to grow back after the treatment. So this is why the cancer is a, such a devastating disease. Okay, in this project, we actually try to develop a so-called smart bomb. This consists of two parts. One part, we are developing some molecular antenna. So these are the DNA or RNA molecules. These act as chemical antibody, if you like. They will specifically recognize the cancer cell. Then the other part is nanoparticle. So this uh, molecular missile will attach the nanoparticle. This will carry cancer you know, chemotherapy drugs and some other um, anti-cancer genes. They will specifically go into the cancer cell and enter into the cancer cell, and then they release these drugs to kill the cancer cells from within. Our approach has a few novel aspects. One is, is, is it utilizes a totally human-compatible material. A lot of material developed that works well in the laboratory settings, but because the material made up of those systems, cancer treatment systems, they are not completely compatible to human body. So they may, in the long run, cause a lot of you know, side effects. So our material is totally human-compatible. And also, we are developing a system which it is very stable, you know, when, you know, before it reaches uh, to the cancer site. But once it enters the cancer cell, it will become fastly, you know, it will disrupt itself and to release the contents it carries. So in that way, it will minimize the side effect and effectively kill the cancer from within. But also, it can be used to treat other diseases like neurodegenerative disease, like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, for diabetes, and also for a lot of uh, autoimmune disease like arthritis and, and, and various kinds of autoimmune disease. So it is not only, in future, this kind of therapy is not only can be, be used to treat cancer cells and a lot of other common diseases which is very difficult to treat also. This project is funded by Australian Federal Government Department of Innovation, Industry, Science and Research. And we have Indian partner investigators who is based in Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science. So this is actually a, a project funded by both Australian federal government and Indian government. We also have a partner in Bowen Health, the Andrew Love Cancer Center. We all have another partner investigator from a pharmaceutical company called Chemgenics who also support us, who is very interested in once we develop this in the laboratory, they will help us to take this into the clinical trial to develop it into a commercial product.